Hello, welcome back to uh, Oracle DBA tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss a couple of common redo log file issues. So these are most kind of performance issues and we are just discussing here because we are discussing redo and undo in detail. Okay, so the first thing that uh, I had seen a lot of time in my, you know, in my database which I'm installing at my home that cannot allocate new log file. So a lot of times I'm getting, getting this kind of error, okay? So let's try to understand what why we are getting this kind of error on what circumstances we are going to get and then how we are going to solve this kind of problem, okay? So before that, let's draw that diagram. No, so this is, so essentially this is the Oracle database on, okay? So this is our buffer cache, and then this is our redo, redo log. And then what we have, we have data file, and also this online redo. So let's, let's write it down. So this is my buffer cache. And this is your redo buffer. And this is my online redo. And this is my data files. Okay, so let's say uh, you know we are uh, in a in a system where we are doing uh, you know, and then also uh, understand that an you know, online redo is of uh, you know that they generally come with a pair. That means it should be. So let's just remove this thing. So what I'm saying, the online redo log file will come in pair. So this is. So let's say there's two pairs, right? So two files. And let's just write down file one and file two. So let's say we are doing a lot of insert, update, delete, a lot of transactions are going on. So therefore we are filling this buffer cache, making it dirty. And at the same time we are writing to the, uh, you know, the, uh, the redo information into the redo buffer and we're keeping. Eventually what's going to happen? LGWR, which is log writer. LGWR is going to write to the file f1 either in three seconds or whenever somebody does a commit or one third when this thing is one third filled okay so let's say like you know we are doing a lot of uh, lgw writing and then we are also filling this one so a lot of transactions going on buffer cache modified redo buffer created and lg writer is writing to this files so eventually this file f1 is going to be filled when F1 is going to fail, then log switch is going to happen, and then LG writer instead of writing to, so let's you know this line will number there. So instead of writing to file one, LG writer is going to start writing to the file two. And still like you know there is you know DB writer is there, but DB writer is not doing anything because you know it's still like you know it's going on. Okay, DB writer is not into picture right now, and eventually this log writer is going to. Okay, it's, it's going to be going to fail and just about to fail, DB writers make somebody makes a checkpoint and DB writer is starts to writing now. Okay, so DB writer is about to write right now. Okay, so DB writer starts. But before DB writer finishes writing all this dirty buffer, let's say this file F2 is completely failed. If file F2 is completely failed, then log write log writer is trying to switch to file f1 okay so you know in this case so log writer is basically in the process of switching to file f1 but notice that whatever they are in f1 right there is no guarantee that you know because you know db writer has not completed yet right so as you know the whole purpose of you know online redo is to make sure that if database in the instant crashes, we can recover. So notice that we might not we, we might not have completely write this DB writer. You know, DB writer might not have completely write all those buffer cache. If we want to overwrite here, okay. So let's say we are allowed to do overwriting, and we are allowed to do overwriting, and we had overwritten couple of you know, log writer, uh, you know, overwritten couple of this thing. Let's say assume that at this time, at this point, DB writer just written couple of things and not not complete, 
and then the instant crash. If the instant crash means this thing is all gone, then there might be a case that DB writer has not completed and also like you know log writer in the old value right you now whatever the old value those things are not being reflected here in data file right now therefore we if if we allow to write then in this scenario if the, if this crash then we might lose some important transactions okay because we are already overwriting so therefore in this case we are not you know log log writer is not going to allowed to write okay so that is the point when it will give you an error saying that cannot allocate new log okay so now so this is a problem right and you you see a lot of times you see this kind of thing cannot allocate new log and after that what what is going to happen checkpoint is going to happen in that case like you know the first thing is that you know no transaction is going to be you know it, the oracle database is not going to respond anymore to any, anything until and unless all this data right so basically in, in in normal case lgwr is going to still pointing to this f2 the lg lg writer is going to point to f2 the first thing is going to happen let the db writer finishes all this thing so when db writer is going to finish all you know flushing all the buffer dirty buffer to the to the to the, to the data files so at that point we can you know overwrite not a problem because we have already written you know whatever this thing we don't we do not need any more this data to protect because we already those things are in our data file so that means the first thing is going to do whenever you're going to give this cannot allocate new log new log and then it will start a checkpoint so that db writer is going to write and and after that you know once this checkpoint is done then you know you know in in this uh, this f1 is going to be allocated to lgwr so now log writer is going to start write, overwriting on uh, file 1 so this is how we are going to uh, you know get rid of this problem but remember that until this thing happen database is nobody is going to do no one is, is allowed to do any more transaction that is bad okay so that means as a dba when you are seeing this kind of error you try to make a preventive measure so that you are not going to see this kind of problem anymore so what is the solution the solution is you know try to you know make checkpoint frequently if you make checkpoint frequently then that you know basically while this you know while maybe like you know if you are writing this into this log file so while that is written to this log file maybe you can do a checkpoint and then you know you, you write from db writer to here and but it will not going to potentially you know it's not it's just it's always a probability right it's not going to completely get rid of get rid of your problem okay then number two is get faster db writer that means if you can write this thing fast right by using you know multiple slaves and all this thing, because you know like db writer is just collect this thing and give it to slaves right so use more number of slaves so that db writer can give them and then go back and then try to uh, you know collect uh, the other things okay so get faster you know implement some kind of faster db writer mechanism by using more number of slabs or even faster disk so that you can write it faster and number three is maybe you can you can think of increasing the size of log file increasing size of redo by increasing size of redo it will like basically you know this will not again eliminate the problem but this will take some more time you know this is less frequent you are going to see this kind of error okay but you know eventually db write even db writer is a lazy writer but db writer is eventually is going to wake up and write it okay so if you have a bigger you know log file then it may say you know you may you may you may not see that frequently this kind of issues okay so this is the problem and this is a solution that cannot allocate new log Another kind of problem that I have, I have seen is that you know whenever you, you you run this thing, there is a like you know if you run this AWR or stats pack, so this is the statistics that I collect you know how my database is you know how my database is running and all. There is a important matrix and that matrix is called log file sync. So whenever you are looking for your AWR report or stats pack report, whenever you run this thing, look for this thing called log file sync most of the time you see these things all fine but if you see this log file sync weight this is a high number okay 
if this is a high number then there is something else is going on okay so that means if you get a high number you should not see that log file seems to be very high if it's very high then probably you are you are experiencing log contention okay so that means you are when you are going to experience log contention let's say assume that you know in this system we are doing a transaction that transaction doing a lot of commit I remember that log writer is going to write whenever there is a commit let's say i'm doing a i'm doing 10 commits in one second if i'm doing 10 commits in one second it may happen that you know there's only one log writer right so unlike db writer or slaves you just you just have only one log writer right so one log writer is going to write and then you know every every like you know the way that you are doing commit in every 10 second because you know a log writer is going to write whenever we're doing a commit or whenever doing a you know every three seconds or so on so therefore it may happen that log writer is in contention like you know there are a lot of there are a lot of uh, commits are going to happen so you know in one second is going to write 10 times okay and that means you are basically blocking the blocking on log writer okay so so this is this is one of the problem so how to solve this thing right so to solve this thing you know basically you know you make your uh, you know whenever you are commit like right? lot of people think that you know if i do commit frequently i'll be uh, doing the things better but that as you know like in a couple of videos before we said that like even if you are doing a 10 row insert or 1000 row insert doesn't matter commit will be always constant the commit time is always flat okay so therefore do, lot of lot of lot of time you know developer used to be in this uh, you know doubt that you know if they commit more frequently uh, it will better but i think you are making it worse okay so if you commit more frequently than is required you are making it worse so basically as i told you the the golden rule of committing is make a logical unit whenever you think that this is the this is the time that i need to commit just go for it it's, it's not necessary to go for a for loop and commit you know for each each you know after each insert so 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 you can basically design an application which is going to try to basically do uh, less commit and also from system point of view there are a couple of things you can take like you can like you know maybe you have a so slow disk device okay so that is why in the first place log writer is taking so much time to write okay so basically you might have a you know use a faster device okay and then so a lot of time what what you know so a lot of time you know basically all this log contents and errors are attributed because you are putting the redo log file and data file on the same device on the same physical disk so if you are putting in the same physical disk then db writer is going to write and redo log write lgw is going to write to that thing okay so that is again another point of point of contention so try to separate redo log file from data file so from the disk from data file from, from, try to try to have separate disks for redo log file and data file and number three is a lot of times you know you make a mistake like let's say you are doing in a cooked file system that means you know uh, like remember like you now some videos back we discussed about different types of file system like cooked file system raw file system clustered file system and so on so in case of if you are using cooked file system so essentially what you do whenever log writer or db writer they write they give this you know by using f write or those kind of things you give it to the operating system to write okay so now again like remember operating system kernel is going to you know this data is going to buffered at the operating system kernel and operating system is operating system kernel is going to write to the redo and to the data file again another point of contention that you are going to depend on os kernel okay instead of that what you can do you can do a direct io so make log writer directly to talk to the disk drive okay do not go through another intermediary called operating system okay so do basically unbuffered write so that will be that will make your thing faster and and so this is what is a common kind of issues that that you you can take care from the system point of view to you know avoid this log file sync issues and what oracle suggest you is suggest you a optimal redo uh, basically optimal you know in case of just for optimal performance okay so what they recommend you use six disk drives okay so for redo you use six disk drives out of which four are small remember i do not really need a big 
you know, I don't really need a big disk for this redo. Because, you know, redo just only contain how much? Like, you know, it just contain only, you know, very less amount of data, right? So, it's in, instead of, you know, buying a, you know, huge disk, buy small disk, which is faster, okay? Faster and smaller dis disks. So, the way that you are going to, uh, you know, use uh, this, uh, you know, uh, you know, redo, you use, you know, you have six disk. Let's say this is called disk one. And then we have, so let's put in some different color because there is a reason behind that. So let's make this is my disk two. And then what I'm going to have, I'm going to have, this is my disk three. Then this is my disk four, and then I will have another disk is five, and this is a little bigger. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is like one and two, this will be configured in a group. That means when log writer is going to write, is going to write to disk one at the same time, the same information is written to disk three. Okay, so this is called a disk group. Okay, so this is your disk group one. And this is your disk group two. So TG2, and this is your disk group three. Okay, so LGWR is going to write here. So while LGW are writing, so let's say this is going to fail eventually, and then then this is a mirror, right? You remember why you do a mirror? Because redo is one of the most important thing in the database. We cannot, we can never afford to lose any redo log file. So the reason behind having this thing in making in a in a in basically writing to in a mirror way is that if I if I if I lost, if I'm going to lose this one, then I'm always going to have this one. Okay. So therefore, log writer is going to write in a you know write two times. You know, at two different disks. So this is the one and three. So one once one and three eventually failed, then log writer is going to switch to two and four. So log writer is no more is going to be here. So this is this, this is completely failed right now. And then log writer is make a switch to log writer is now writing in two and four, and it's going to write. So while log writer is writing on two and four, what you can do your archive log file ARCH. Remember that archive log file, you can start archiving this information, right, to your archived log, redo log. So this is basically, that's the, the yellow ones are archived redo. So what's going to happen? So whenever log writer is busy in writing the second disk group, you archive from the disk group one. So therefore, so now this is dotted line. So this is being archived to, so archiver is basically trying to archive to, you know, disk number, you know, one to five, disk number three to six. And once this archive is done, and, you know, like once this, you know, and at the same time, log writer is also going to complete writing two and four, and then log writer is going to switch to disk group one. And then if you are using, you now because this one, two, three, four is to be, you know, slower disks, sorry, faster disks, but of small size. Whereas this archive log file should be basically faster, you know, you know, it, it need not be faster, but it should be up, you know, the size should be much more than whatever it is. So that means using six disk, you can optimally make a redo. Okay, so the optimal redo and, and then, then in that case, you probably avoid all these issues of log file syncs to be very high. 